that's the power of the daytime show. You can have fun and some of the quirkier segments, but then suddenly you are in the middle of a culture debate with someone who's on the wrong side of history mm -hmm. and you know what's Absolutely. right and it's your show. Absolutely. Yeah, the power that you, you do have. And I think one thing that we were able to do with our, our show back then was really show gay relationships and interracial, bi couples. interracial couples. We treated them like every other couple. And I think that really, you know, people come up to me today and say, thank you so much for showing people on TV that represented who I was because I wasn't comfortable in my skin. I saw people like me and you helped me to kind Come out. I mean, it's really it's I powerful. It's it is I, off and on for for 25 years. Ever since I did a movie called Mrs. Winterborn, it was really the yo-yo dieting that had a huge impact. Being on hormonal birth control definitely affected my hair. Um, there's a lot of factors: stress. I lost my husband three years ago to mental illness and death by suicide. I've been through a lot, but I was sick of it, and I had these extensions. And I'm sure many of you. You know, we're, we're, we, we so want what we see, uh, uh, you know, with the Kardashians and what's unattainable. And so for me, I was just sick of it. I'd been coloring my hair since my mid-20s, and I needed to be set free. And it was personal. This was not about starting a movement or really being a mentor or, or a role model for other women. But I, I, I realized that coming out and being a public figure in this way has been, a, been helpful to other people. I'm sure and I heard. like it. I prefer it. It's more it me. It looks amazing. But I just, it looks amazing. I,